Yo, what's up guys? This is Rise and welcome to another video where today we're gonna be showcasing Pilo Swine in the Evolution Cup Avalanche incoming as this Pokemon can put in quite a quite a bit of work. I got a comment in my Twitch chat say try this team, Haunter, Vigoroth, Pilo Swine. I'm like, that sounds like a pretty fun team. And uh, fittingly, we lead against the Pilo Swan in our first battle. We safe swap into Vig, and we're met by a Golbat. And this is normally pretty good for Golbat. However, because it's a Shadow Golbat, this is going to mean two Body Slams will threaten to KO this Golbat, which makes things a little bit better on our end. If we can come out of here with a Shield Advantage, that would be lovely. Another Body Slam coming through, expecting the Golbat to probably Shield here. And we do get a Shield. Golbat with a nice overfarm and then wins the charge move priority against our Vigoroth. So really nice counting by our opponent, maximizing their energy. I'm debating which one I want to farm with here. And I decided, you know, Piloswine with energy can be extremely dangerous. They could have a Shadow Ball here, so I will respect it with our first shield. Shield the Shadow Ball, get the farm down. They swap it a Haunter. I'm like, oh my god. They've got a similar team. And they let the Haunter go. They let the Haunter go to the Avalanche. That's wild. In comes Pilo. I, uh, he gets to the Avalanche one turn before me. I'm just going to decide to let my own Pilo go at this point. Since now their Pilo should be relatively dry. And I should definitely get to two Shadow Punches before he gets to two Avalanches at this point. It's 5-4, five, 5-4 four, five, four for Shadow Punch. It's going to be 6-6-5 six, six, for Avalanche. So he would have needed several... Potter Snow's head start to be able to beat us to double. And then we simply... Uh, oh, we actually forgot about the Golbat. We forgot about the Golbat. But we tap our Shadow Claw in time to take it out. Always keep tapping. Keep on tapping like Dory said in Finding Nemo. Just keep on swimming in Pokemon Go. You gotta keep on tapping. And we're on to the next battle. Let me know in the comments how you guys have been liking Evolution Cup so far. I've only done it for one day. Um, I thought it was it was fine. Obviously, we had the little bit of a glitch to start things off where uh, duplicate species were involved. But um, I, the one I think negative is you do see a lot of the same Pokemon. It's a lot of Haunter, Vigoroth, Golbat over and over again. Um, but you can't really blame anybody, right? Because they're the strongest Pokemon in this meta very neutral but who knows maybe these people start coming up with some core breakers maybe as the uh, days go on here in evolution cup we'll start to see more spice picks um, our opponent able to bait us with the body slam a nice bait gonna go for the ice punch while we have it here against dragonair land the ice punch does some heavy damage to dragonair we're gonna go for a big powder snow down i'm gonna be willing to tank this aqua tail because i know there's a vigoroth waiting for me but this is going to be a little bit uncomfortable, right? Because this Vigoroth's going to get a nice farm down. And it probably just simply shields the Avalanche. We'll come out of here with lots of energy. So we throw the Avalanche. We get the first shield. Vig's going to counter us down. We're going to come in with Haunter. And I'm debating whether I want to shield or not. I decide I don't think he's going to bait me, so I am able to shield a Bulldoze, and there is a Magneton in back, so of all things to see, it is a Magneton, and this is good for us since we have a Vigoroth to answer this Magneton. As long as it doesn't hit us with a Zap Cannon, we should be fine. This was only seven Thundershocks, so this has to be a Magnet Bomb or a Discharge. We're able to tank the Magnet Bomb, does quite a bit of damage, but Vig can tank it. Vigoroth so strong. Going to counter down. And this will probably take us out, but we do have some energy on our Haunter, or maybe just like one Shadow Claw. Yeah. So, four away from the punch. And this will be enough to knock out the Vigoroth, as it's extremely low. So, yeah, Shadow Punch. Enough from that range. Haunter is so crazy, dude. It's crazy how much like a body slam does to it. And how much like a punch can do to things as well. Going up against Shady Equation, friend of the channel here. Who oh, oh, who we just fe featured his battles last video, by the way. And now we're playing up, playing against each other. Um, Haunter. 
Grabs a shield from Dusclops. I make a catch here, hoping it's a Shadow Punch, but it's a purified Dusclops, so the typical moveset's gonna be Ice Punch. Return. He's staying in here for a while against the Vig, so this might be his best Vigoroth answer. I'm gonna respect a potential return here, and he does go for the returns. That's a good shield. Gonna go for a Bulldoze now. Guarantee either a shield or to knock out the Dusclops. It actually barely hangs on with a few HP. In comes Opposing Vig. I'm going to lose Charge Move Priority here, but that's okay because I know I live a Body Slam from this range. If I was in Body Slam range, I would have wanted to make sure I got off my Body Slam first. I get countered down. Going to come in with Haunter. Over farm by one. Get off my Ice Punch since it's an Ice Punch range. Vig goes down. And what's in back... What is it? It's a Celio. And Celio has been awfully tough in the back for this team. If I can't line the Vigoroth up with Celio, it just kind of outbulks my Haunter. And I have to land the Stone Edge here to do any damage. So I'm actually going to go for a bait here. Pretty risky. Throwing a double resisted Avalanche, but I get the bait. And here is where we get double lucky. Is Shady does not have water pulse on his celio he has body slam aurora beam so no water pulse to threaten us trying to get out of here this body slam will ko but also you got to keep in mind a body slam is not going to do much at all to our haunter so body slam won't ko here does our haunter have enough health left in the tank to close this out i throw my punch immediately since i know his back pokemon is so low and one Shadow Claw registers before the one Hex. That Dusclops was still lurking there. Um, so we get the win. Pretty crazy game there. Definitely lucky on our part that uh, he didn't have Water Pulse on his Celio. Because if he was running Water Pulse, he definitely would have beaten us there. Serrano Popper. Next opponent, Shadow. Uh, not Shadow. Normal Golbat into our Haunter. They swap into a Vig, so this is kind of where we want to see the Vig, so I'm perfectly comfortable just staying in here. What's pretty crazy is that two Ice Punches are enough to take out Vig almost. For a non-stab, not the greatest move. It just shows how how dang attack-weighted Haunter is. Going to respect the Bulldoze here. Vigoroth usually tends to bait the Body Slam, but that is alright. Going to commit my second shield here. They bait me again. Very nicely done. I could have done one. Excuse me. Could have done one more Shadow Claw there, but it's all right. Land the Ice Punch. We're down a shield. In comes Chansey. And I'm like, oh, what the heck? In comes Chansey. So I think what I do here is I swap in Pylo, which is kind of questionable, to be honest. But I just didn't want to give him a, uh, a big Zen headbutt down unnecessarily. So I swap in Pylo. I grab a shield from the Avalanche. Zen Headbutt Chansey, dude. Chansey, one of the bulkiest mons in the game, if not the bulkiest. It's probably the bulkiest, right? They're going to land a Hyper Beam. It's going to do some heavy damage. Hyper Beam just being such a crazy, powerful move. We overfarm a bunch here on the Avalanche, and I think our opponent makes a mistake. And swaps in the Golbat, not thinking we were going to reach another Avalanche. But we get this off. We hard swap Haunter, get the Shadow Claw down. And uh, we still got a fully healthy Vigoroth back there. So, like, let's say worst case, the Chansey Zen headbutted us down here before we even got off a move. Vig can take a Hyper Beam, no problem. Can probably tank, like, a Hyper Beam and a Psychic. And here is Mr. Vigoroth. Chansey's fighting till the very end. Fighting till the bitter end, Chansey. But Vigoroth's going to be too much here with Chansey being so low, so chipped. And we get the win. So this team uh, was putting in some work. I like it a lot. 
as we're on to the next battle. Haunter is a really solid response to uh, Vigoroth. Um, pretty decent against Golbat since the Poison Fang isn't super threatening. And here we go. Vigoroth, along with Haunter, probably the two most common Pokemon in this meta. So you'll see these two a lot. Normally, Gengar, I think, gets the shine over Haunter in Great League formats. However, uh, with it being the Evolution Cup and only the second Evolution Pokemon, Haunter gets its chance to shine. These Vigoroths love to bait the Body Slam, so I'm going to start calling it, I think. On stream today, I'm going to start calling these, these Body Slams, but unfortunately, going to have to go down two shields here. So we're down two shields. I'm going to bait here the Dragonair. I feel like they have to shield. Like It's almost a guaranteed shield. So I get the shield. Then I swap in Vig. Because these Dragon Breaths are just so oppressive to um, Haunter. We want to swap in Vigoroth who can uh, absorb this damage a little bit better. Dragonair going to get off a Body Slam. I actually elect to not throw my Body Slam because what I don't want to happen is take out the Dragonair and then he farms me down with something. So I actually allow him to throw his Body Slam first and then I let my Vig go and this way I get the head start on energy. And it's a goal bat. So this head start is really valuable for us. Getting off our Avalanche. We know that he still has his Vigoroth lurking in the back. So he has that as a catch opportunity. I eventually swap in my Haunter, and he didn't realize that we were relatively close to the Shadow Punch. So we get this off, and this should be a GG, yeah. Vigoroth was extremely low. G to the G Trainer, <clears throat> and that is a 5-0. That is a 5-0 set to start things off with this team. I think we had like maybe one or two battles in the set before this. We changed up teams because the, the other team we were running was not working. So our very first full set with this team, we get a big time 5-0. Don't mind if I do. And catch a Woobat as a reward. Let me know in the comments if you guys uh, have any spice picks you've been you've been running in Evolution Cup, kind of outside of the Haunter Vigoroth meta. Celio as well it seems to be pretty common. Golbat seems to be pretty common. I'm always looking for new stuff to run. Tati, terrific battler. Um, Haunter versus Dustop's kind of an interesting matchup, right? The uh, Shadow Claws and the Hexes are both going to really add up. If they throw after three Hexes, you know it has to be a Shadow Punch. Since Shadow Punch is actually 35 energy compared to Ice Punch or Fire Punch. Is, they're all 40 energy, all the Elemental Punches. Shadow Punch lands, and they actually live, so I swap in my Vig. To catch this second Shadow Punch. This way I don't have to uh, commit a second shield. And now we're in the Vigoroth Mirror Match. Body Slam coming through. And this is kind of nice because my Vig's healthy enough where it can actually reach another Body Slam here. Um, and it looks like that might have been a CMP, which is weird considering he won the last CMP. So I don't know if our Vigs have like the exact same attack stat. It's kind of wild. Because they're different CPs. Okay, but this is bad. Two Shield Celio, very tough for our team. Very, very tough. Um, almost He almost made the catch. And now my only win con at this point is to hope he double shields Celio right here. So I get off my next punch. But he makes a nice call and does not commit the shield. So I really needed that shield to have a chance here. Um, I guess... I guess what else I could have done maybe would have been... Instant swap Pylo. And then try and get both shields with Pylo. And then... Double punch with Haunter. Maybe that would have been enough. Um, but this is awfully close here. Unfortunately, it looks like that was a CMP tie. Um, so Body Slam might be enough here to take out Pylo Swine. It's not the bulkiest of Pokemon, and it does faint. 
to the body slam. Maybe I need a better IV Pylo. Maybe a, a high rank Pylo could have lived that. I mean, we would have had a chance. We'll see if Rise invests in a high rank Pylo. I could check if I have a better one. I'm sure I do. But it's like, do I want to build a better one? Oh my god, dude. I have a 1-12-10 Pylo that's already built, dude. Are you kidding me? It's already built. I just have to power it up. Holy guacamole. Has that ever happened to you? You, like, have a Mon built that you just forget about? Bro, we are totally building our better Pylo. Body slam coming through. Vigoroth mirror match once again. And this is really nice. Our, our Vig has good IVs, so um, they can't counter it down there. They have to expend a body slam. Really nice for us. I'm going to go for a Shadow Claw down here. Got to respect the Bulldoze, of course. Really no reason for them to bait, but... They uh they tried to bait to get to two body slams. That that kind of makes sense, I guess. Gonna get off our ice punch here, which will probably draw a shield from Dragonair. He's got a move, so it's a CMP. I'm gonna let this go through. I'm gonna put it all in Pylo and hope Pylo can close this out. Since we've already gotten rid of the Vig, hopefully they don't have another answer, but it is a Celio. And Celio is tough for Pylo to deal with. This is why we're running Stone Edge as opposed to Bulldoze. So we land the Stone Edge. That's pretty big. And I have to make a call. Body Slam. Water Pulse. Body Slam. Okay, we at least call that right. It's going to be another Body Slam. But now it's like, where the heck do I expend my shield, you know? I go for the Stone Edge since I'm only going to get to one move anyway. He lets it go. And I'm just hoping that... Shadow Claws are enough, but they are not. Dragon Breath is going to do more damage than the Shadow Claws. And our opponent gets a nice victory there. Maybe had a win con somewhere if I like expended my shield against the Celio. I'm not sure. Okay, solid lead here. In comes Nair. I'm going to bait here with Punch. I feel like it's almost a guaranteed shield to respect the Ice Punch. We grab a shield. We swap in Vig. Be willing to let this first one go through. Body Slam. Just a really solid, efficient move. Makes Dragon there just a little bit better in neutral matchups. Because uh, Body Slam going to do more than those non-stab Aqua Tails. Going to let this go. This is becoming a little bit scary. Because my Hunter has already been chipped. Um, not gonna reach a bulldoze, so just gotta settle for a body slam here, just for a little bit of chip damage. Sometimes I see people, like, in those situations, right, our Vigoroth, I'll pause it for a sec, our Vigoroth was super low, and, like, of course, body slam is not gonna do much to Shadow Dusclops, but some people, like, when you're very clearly not gonna reach the bulldoze, it's okay to just throw a body slam, like, you don't have to commit to the bulldoze and be like, oh, why would I throw a body slam, like, it only does 10%, well... That 10% could be useful. It could help put it into avalanche range later on. So I think that's an important tip. Sometimes people, uh, you, ha you have to recognize quickly as possible when you're realistically not going to get to a move. Then you want to just make sure you throw that move, uh, the cheaper move for some damage. It is a Shadow Dust Club, so we know it doesn't have return. I'm willing to tank the first move. Avalanche grabs the final Protect Shield. Our opponent throws on alignment here, which helps us get an extra powder snow. I'm taking another punch. Um, and now I'll finally commit a shield because we know there's a Vigoroth waiting in back. That's still fully healthy, right? So I store my avalanche because that's just about all I'll need to take out Dusclops. I'm going to commit a shield here. I think this is... Oh, no, I'm not because this is only a body slam. And look at this. Hunter hangs on. Gets to the next Ice Punch. This is critical. 
Ice Punch puts Vig very low. I sneak in a Powder Snow. I know I can Powder Snow down here, and I can get off an Avalanche against Dusclops. I did lose track of how much energy the Dusclops has, so I make a mistake here by throwing instantly when I should have done one Powder Snow and then throw. But luckily for us, two Powder Snows, still enough to KO, and we get the win. That was a fun game there. Meshack, <clears throat> Californian Battler, Haunter versus Dusclops. Shadow Dusclops, very scary. Gonna have to respect the Shadow Punch here. Tried to catch on alignment there. So we're going to throw our Ice Punch. We actually get a Shield, which is kind of surprising. And I know I can still get to an Ice Punch here before he gets to a Bulldoze. So I'm going to get off another Ice Punch. Hunter putting in some work here. And he actually expends the Bulldoze, which is pretty good for us, because Body Slam would have been just about enough to KO Haunter from that range, so he makes a bit of a mistake. Gonna get off a move here. Chip away at our Vigoroth. Going for the Bulldoze. Body Slam would not be enough from here, so just committing to make sure we get rid of this. And there is a Hakamo in back. Cool team. Shadow Dusclops, Hakamo, we grab a Protect Shield, um, he goes for a big Dragon Tail down here, which becomes a little scary for us, but luckily we, we get to this Body Slam, and now Powder Snow should be enough, Hakamo-O doesn't um, run close combat like Kamo-O, so we're able to uh, tank this energy a little bit better, take the Dragon Claw, gonna shield this next one, Huh, I wonder if he's running something other than Brick Break. Interesting. But we get a pretty comfortable win there against Meshack. And it's on to the next one. PM180. It sounds like a... Sounds like Tylenol or something. <laughs> um, so, I'd say a favorable lead for Haunter here since we have Ice Punch... We're not afraid of Poison Fang, but these wing attacks do add up, man. Pretty crazy that the wing attacks are doing more than the Shadow Claws. I will shield here. We do get baited with the Poison Fang. Uh, probably would have been nice to call that. I mean, it's a pretty obvious bait. Like, who's going to Shadow Ball a Haunter when it's already at, like, 40% health? I don't know. I go for the Sneak here. And I'm wondering if I can farm down or not. One, two... Three, four, five. We get a big farm down. I'm thinking about just blind body slamming here, but I'm going to see what comes in first. Always try and see what comes in first before blind throwing if possible. Sometimes if you're like at one HP, it's probably best to just blind throw to make sure you get off your move. But look at this. I get off both body slams. That is massive. And now our pylo is looking great in the back. We grab the last shield. I come in right away with pylo. Um, going to commit a shield here. The Golbat only has a Fang. So, I'm, so I know that this is just a Fang, and I should be in an okay spot. Over farm, get to the Avalanche. And then get to another Avalanche here against Zwyla. So Pylo really breaking apart the uh, back line. Of that previous team. Zwyless and Golbat. Zwyla, uh, because Pylo's not the bulkiest, like those Dragon Breaths probably do just as much as the Powder Snows. But um, we're able to take a Body Slam, right? And our Avalanche is lethal to the Zwyless. We catch a Ralts as our reward. Shout out to Gardevoir. Let's see, male or female Ralts? Female. Not the best IVs. <laughs> and it's on to the next one. So look at us climbing a little bit of ELO. 3,090. Let's see if we can reach 3,100 in this set. Haunter versus Pylo. Before I immediately swap the Vigoroth, this time I actually decide to stay in. See how this kind of plays out. I'm going to throw at 6. This is a charge move priority. 
with the um, avalanche. And we actually grab a shield, which is really good for us. Because now we don't have to go down a shield. We just match shields. In comes a Dusclops. I'm going to get off my punch here. This is kind of awkward, right? Because Hunter is probably my better answer. Um, I went for a potential catch, but I did quite a bit of damage. And now I'm just going to tank all this and try and powder snow down with Pylo. Pylo can at least... Uh, farm down here versus Vig would kind of struggle to farm down here. We take a couple of shadow punches. We get the farm. Is it going to be a Vigoroth in back or will it be something else? It is a Vigoroth. We are healthy enough. Is it possible to reach a second avalanche here before getting farmed down? That's what I'm hoping for. Um, and he actually realizes it. So he commits, uh, so he commits to throwing a body slam and this is good for us because we still have our fully healthy Vig. We still have a shield. And at this point, we can handle this opposing Vig. I catch on my Haunter. Just to seal things up a little bit. And uh, we should be good here. Just going to save our shield for the for the Pylo. If I hadn't made that catch, I think we're still fine, right? Because we were still going to get to a move on Haunter. So kind of unnecessary, but just shirt up the game a little bit more comfortably. And we get the dub. Let's go. Yeah, I'm having fun with Evolution Cup. I'm hoping uh, I can figure out maybe some more spicy picks just to uh, to switch up the content a bit. I've got a, cool, a couple cool different types of content that I'll be showcasing. I I filmed one of them like three weeks ago now um, where I, I did an IRL vlog where there was this small island. It's like uh, it's called Mackinac Island. I'm sure some of you have heard of it the Upper Peninsula, Michigan, and uh, I tried to spin every stop on the island in three hours. It's an eight-mile circumference, um, so that's a fun video that hopefully I get to soon. I've got a big tournament sweep recap from a an elite battler named Trogdor that I'll be getting to, and I also have a bit of like a highlight video of... Uh, some of my sports commentary battles from streams, like a little compilation that I think will be fun. So definitely going to mix up the content. Might be good if Evolution Cup kind of sticks to the same core meta of Pokemon. Might be, might be good to release those videos this week. And uh, and switch it up a bit. We see a Machoke. So here's a new Mon that we haven't seen yet. Machoke comes in. I got a massive farm on Vigoroth. And Vigoroth is just so dangerous with energy. Gonna get off all three body slams here. But this has got me concerned that there's something in back that my opponent is content just trying to sweep with. And it is a Zwyla. So this is a little scary. It's got two shields. But our Powder Snows will start to add up. So what I actually decide to do here is I stay in for a while. I allow these Powder Snows to add up. I throw an Avalanche to get a shield off him. And then I swap in Haunter. And this is only to force him to Dark Pulse me. Uh, because if he Body Slams me, I get off my move to get that second shield. And uh, by swapping in, I force him to, to Dark Pulse to expend a lot of energy. And now I can just commit to a Powder Snow down. But look at this! Zwyla's hangs on! And gets to a Body Slam with 1 HP. What a game. What a win for our opponent. Very impressive win on their part. And you know what? If I had, um, I don't know, maybe if I had actually shielded Haunter, gotten off my punch, he would have been forced to shield, and then maybe my Pylo gets to the Avalanche and back. I'm not sure, but uh, probably a win con there somewhere. Um, probably a win con there somewhere. Haunter versus Dragonair. This is just a little bit too oppressive in terms of the fast move damage from Dragonair. So I like to swap here. I swap into Vig. They're not swapping out, which is good for us. In comes a Grottle. Shadow Razor Leaf Grottle. <laughs> Uh-oh. That's pretty crazy, running Grottle in like a Haunter Dragon meta. What is... 
and a Golbat batted too. Like, what is Grottle even trying to target, dude? I don't know. What is Grottle even trying to target? Maybe my Pylo Swine. <laughs> Maybe it's trying to target my Pylo. So Grottle typically runs Body Slam Energy Ball. I wasn't sure, but I didn't think this was enough for an Energy Ball. So I decided just to call a Body Slam. That's double resisted. In comes Denair. I decided to shield to get off this punch. To either take out Denair or uh, force the last shield. This is overkill. Shadow Punch would be enough from here. So this is just a misplay by me. No reason to throw Ice Punch there. And now this is a little bit scary. It's a little bit scary. Because um, Vigoroth's going to come out of here with energy. So we need to... Yeah, no reason to shield. Because Vig's just going to outpace us anyway. Vig gets a big farm down here. This is pretty brutal. Our opponent, I think, makes a mistake. He wanted to give my Haunter less farm. So he actually stopped tapping. He stopped tapping because he wanted to give my Haunter less farm. However, I don't think my Haunter could have farmed down if he did, if he hadn't done that. So he overthought it a bit, in my opinion. Um, overthought it. Maybe he thought I would throw my Avalanche if he... Maybe he just assumed I would tap my Avalanche if he did that. That makes sense. And then I just didn't throw my Avalanche. So I guess a smart play on both sides there. Tricky little endgame. Next opponent, Haunter into Dusclops. I have a really good Dusclops and a really good Shadow Dusclops. I just have yet to build them because I don't have a ton of dust. I I might have thrown with bad timing there. I, didn't really, I wasn't really paying attention. Yeah, I think I threw on alignment. Very embarrassing. I go for a catch here. It is an ice punch. Once again, I'm probably going to respect a return here. Return's a very hard-hitting move. Would do quite a bit of damage. That's a good shield. We're going to go for a bulldoze here, which should nearly take out Dusclops. Bulldoze does not get out. In comes opposing Vigoroth. Gonna get off my body slam here. We overfarm by one just to kind of throw off their timing. Um, I'm gonna let it go at this point. We've still got our Haunter. Nothing fancy, just gonna try and get rid of this Vig right away. Since our Piloswine wants to avoid it. We knock out the Vig and it's a Celio. And oh, Rise, big mistake there. So at this point, my only win con would have been to throw that punch and hope that they shield. Um, by saving the punch, I'm essentially not giving myself a chance, right? Because this isn't going to be enough. So I needed to, I needed to hope that they shielded the punch as my win con, um, because then I probably win that. But I just didn't give myself a chance to win. That's always the most frustrating games. When not only do you misplay, but like you don't play out. You don't give yourself a chance to win. I had a game like that today in a very important tournament. And uh, just it, it's still in my head today. It's still in my head hours later because not only did I misplay, but I didn't give myself a chance to win. I didn't play out the win condition, which is uh, which is really frustrating. Always give yourself the chance to win. As obvious as that sounds. I think there's a little bit more substance behind it. But anyway, we led into the Breon, which is a Charmer. The pre-evolution of Primarina. And they swap in Vigoroth. They're awfully weak to a Haunter lead. As per usual, we get baited. I try to catch a Body Slam. Or, I sorry, I try to catch a Bulldoze, which is unsuccessful. And now we're kind of in an awkward spot. I decided I'm just going to let this go. Because I know I get to this body slam. And I'm like, I don't think my opponent's going to be willing to shield their 1 HP Vig just for switch. So I'm able to keep switch. And I have lots of energy on Haunter. So I still feel like I'm in an okay spot. Haunter comes in. Bro, I throw after one Shadow Claw for proper timing. And two charms go through. Very frustrating. I'm doubled up on punches here. I'd be surprised if he shields considering I have double punches. 
but he does shield. Is he going to shield again? He shields again. Very crazy. I'm going to respect it here. I actually don't know this thing's moveset, but... Disarming voice. That would have done a chunk. And there's a goal bat in back. And Pylo Swine just laughing. Mwahaha. Avalanche incoming. Takes out the bat. And Breon knows what's up. Breon. Breon sounds kind of like Brianna. I've known quite a few Briannas in my life. Lots of cool Briannas. If you're a Brianna watching this or a Brianna, shout out to you. Leave a like on the video for having a cool name. If you're not a Brianna or a Brianna, leave a like anyway. <laughs> and we get a uh, positive set there. 3101 to uh, break the 3100s for the first time this season. And hopefully we can uh, keep on climbing. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you are new. All comments help the algorithm. And that said, thank you so much for watching. I hope to see you in the next one. Peace.